¿Qué tal, Buenas, grande? ¿Cómo va? Bienvenidos. Bien, bien. Gracias, gracias. Adelante. video we're going to be working with a great fashion designer from Mendoza, Argentina, Alejandro Ferraro. So we are at the Alejandro Salas, he's the designer, and we're choosing, we're, this is the initial stage of choosing our, our uh, wardrobe and our first uh, meeting here. So we're, we're trying to figure out what's going to work. tenías algún tipo de cuerpo en mente cuando diseñaste este? Generalmente cuando armo todo este tipo de prendas lo armo cuando, cuando estoy preparando algún desfile o algo. Ajá. Entonces como que no busco un, un físico en, en, en particular. Ajá. Trato de hacerlo como más impersonal. O sea, me fijo en lo que yo quiero mostrar y después busco a la chica. Ah, bien. Después veo a, a quién. Este, claro. Básicamente siempre si llevo los desfiles Jamás les hago una prueba previa a las chicas. Yo las pongo en fila y ya sé a quién le va a quedar bien el vestido. Entonces ya lo voy distribuyendo los vestidos. A veces ni siquiera hace falta que se los mire cómo les quedan porque ya sé cómo le va a quedar. <risa> claro, esto es como es lo que me impresionó que fue como hecho para ella sí. este vestido. Pues nunca lo tuviste como. Claro. Impresionante. <risa> I was just saying that Alejandro is, he's designing, he says he doesn't have a, anybody like in mind when he's designing the thing, but this particular dress and well everything, I guess it, is, it seems like it's custom made for Mario, it's just unbelievable how you have to like think in advance when you're designing wardrobes, I, I find it fascinating. Okay, so we're, we're experimenting with different wardrobe things. Uh, having lived in India for a year and a half, I, I really like, I'm really attracted to the Asian kind of, kind of style. So now this is something that I, that I really dig. This one I'd really like to include in the shoe. And it's something that I think it looks very much Asian, like from India or somewhere like that. El capo acá es remozado. This outfit is killing. This is gonna be spectacular. So as most photographers know, getting into the fashion industry as a photographer is pretty cutthroat. What I want to do in this little project here is just enjoy the process, try to get across what I want to get across creatively while still accomplishing the goal of a fashion photographer, showcasing the pieces in a way that they look great while still being artistically satisfied as a photographer. Alejandro lo descubrí ahí en el, en el dije este, este, este es un capo, que no hay. So it's time to take it out to the streets. We have a great ballet dancer and model here, Asuncion. We're going to shoot in downtown Chacaras in Mendoza. Another goal I 
have here is to use all natural light. The beautiful natural light of this city is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna change out to my 70 to 200 for this shot because I think it's gonna work better. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting from this angle over here and we have the, the wonderful doors of the theater in the background. So I think the 70 to 200 is gonna work much better for this. I know everybody's hating on me for changing lenses like this, but what can I do? <laughs> For the next shot, we moved over to the patio section. This pose was really tricky because I wanted to have both of her feet off the ground and really balancing, like really graceful. So it was a challenge to find the position where the chair wouldn't tip over. On many levels, I feel that if you take care of the photography, the wardrobe is going to come through phenomenally. happy with these shots so we headed over to the next location. A friend of mine owns this hotel here in Mendoza so he was kind enough to let us shoot upstairs at the pool. Our main issue was the time and the light. The light was starting to change so we really needed to get 
our session moving here by the pool to catch the ideal light for this situation. So with all outfits, I try to capture what they offer in particular for the person. This one I really love because, you, as you can see, the legs are shown. It's a very special design and I wanted to emphasize the details of the design and how it makes a person feel when they wear it. hacer como movimiento seguir 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 nomás para arriba para abajo también eh, seguir otra vez Genia, que sos, por favor. A ver, ¿podés exagerar un poco más para abajo? ¿Más ahí? So, as much as I wanted to get this pose in there somehow, it was really difficult to stand like this in high heels, extremely slippery, so we opted for something else. I decided to draw on my yoga experience and did a typical yoga pose, which Asuncion adapted to very nicely. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver qué, qué sale. Uh, está muy linda. Te tenés, necesariamente tenés que apoyarte en este. A ver, se dice así. Eh, apoyarte en el otro. Sí. I had the vague feeling that she didn't know she could pull this off, but I had 100% confidence in her. Me encantó. De a poco hay que ir encontrando, viste, la, 
las composiciones con cada persona. I was happy and my beautiful model did a great job. One of the things that really stands out for me in these types of shoots when you do collaborations is the respect for other people's work. Alejandro is such a great designer. I really wanted to do good for him, represent his work in the best way that I possibly could. I feel really happy with the results and I feel that the designs really stood out in my photography and they came across the way I wanted them to. Estás bárbara hasta ahora, ¿eh? <risa> Muy bien. Me gustaron mucho las, las últimas. Sí, Me sí. Cantaron. Salieron buenísimas. <risa> bueno, chao. So I did a couple of sessions for these other pieces on different days and here are a few shots of those sessions. I'd like to thank everybody who was part of this amazing project. Alejandro Ferraro. It was a real pleasure to work with Alejandro on this and his designs added a ton to my photography. I hope you enjoyed this video and will subscribe and check into the next one. See you soon.